Last time on the What If Goku was replaced by Ang. The story of Dragon Ball changed with the arrival of Ang. Ang couldn't transform into the Ozaru state and thus Grandpa Gohan survived. At the same time, Grandpa Gohan found out that Ang could transform into the Avatar state, but he didn't know the name of it, of course. Ang trained under Master Roshi and still lost the tournament against Jackie Chun. In his adventures, he killed Mercenary Tao with a powerful airbender move and fought against the last fighter who came from the other world using the same moves and some similar techniques as him. Later on, Ang found out that he was able to manipulate water, much to the surprise of Master Roshi. What will happen next? Find out in this part of What if Goku was replaced by Ang? What if Goku was replaced by Ang? Master Roshi, Master Roshi! Look! I can move water. Indeed, Goku. Remember, Ang is called Goku. But you're not using any key. I wonder how you're doing it. I don't know, I am... I am just doing it like, like, with the air, yes. I'm like panting it at free will. Master Roshi was intrigued, but he had many more questions. Could this be some powerful technique that he didn't know or wasn't he aware of? Young boy, did Gohan teach you that stuff? No, I, I just do it instinctively. Master Roshi then said that Ang should be very creative with his new abilities, which he found out, but unfortunately he would not really be able to help Ang. Well, Ang was sad of course, but he understood Master Roshi. Krillin and Yamcha too, they were like really surprised at Ang's capacities and suddenly you saw them like moving their hands or doing things, but you know, nothing happened. Once the master and his students arrive at the 22nd World Martial Arts Tournament, they met Tian, Chao Tzu and Master Shen, who was very upset and mad when he met Ang. Ah, Roshi, and what? You killed Tao. You uh, will pay for killing my brother. While Ang was normally calm, he revived the moment where he experienced how Tao killed Bora. Tao was a murderer and he killed the father of a child. Tian interrupted the conversation and told Ang that I will have great joy in killing you while cracking his hands and laughing. The tournament went on and most things they didn't change that much. Only that Master Shani was more hostile for very obvious reasons, but Tian deep down also hated Tao for the way he treated him. In his fight against Ang, he and Ang were equally matched. While Tian had the physical strength and techniques, <laughs> Ang had the element of surprise with him, which he used towards the end of the fight. Tian didn't know how to respond to it and when both were almost about to get eliminated, Ang managed to airbend and thus he could win the tournament. Ang would also not enter into the Avatar state because there wouldn't be a threat or the presence of death. Even though Tian said that yes, he would kill him and whatnot, but as we all know from original Dragon Ball, that wasn't the case. Tambourine would still kill Krillin, because Ang would in this story replace Goku and he would also forget the power pool and then when finding Krillin's body, well Ang, he would go 
in his way and revenge his friend and when finding Tambourine, he would turn into his avatar state and obliterate the Tambourine, much to the shock of Yajirobe. After calming down, Aang would then go and find King Piccolo. But without Zenkai boosts, Aang would now be only a tiny bit stronger than Goku and thus lose to King Piccolo still. King Piccolo gets his wish, tries to take control of the world, but he is met by Tian, and then also by Ang, who finally drank the sacred water. And for some reason, the sacred water balanced Ang, giving him a much bigger boost than to Goku, because come on, Ang is a descendant of a spiritual people. The air nomads, they are more calm, they are really peaceful and pacifists. Quite the contrary to a warrior race like the Saiyans. And even in general, all the Bandas they are more peaceful than the Saiyans. Not all the Bandas were seeking fights. Even in the Fire Nation you had people who just didn't want to fight and they want to have a normal life. Aang would then turn into his avatar state and beat King Piccolo with his own strength. Techniques and, at the end, a mix of his own key and airbending technique. This last attack would be so powerful that the air would just drill a hole through a King Piccolo's chest and it would drain the life energy of Aang. Guess that King Piccolo always gets a hole in his chest, right? Just before dying, King Piccolo would still spit out the neck which would contain Piccolo Jr. in it. And after beating King Piccolo, Aang would fall unconscious and suddenly get again weird dreams and visions. He saw someone talking to him, someone old, wrinkly, with white long hair and some long dress. He looked like an earthling, but this guy was rambling about formations, about being the avatar and that there were other avatars and that they are all within Hang. Hmm, Hang didn't understand what was going on. And after that he decided to ask Corin once more. And Corin told him that only Kami may be able to help him. And that Kami would have an answer to it. Hang would then climb up and go to the lookout only to find Popo. Popo would fight Ag and teach Ag very important lessons, and these lessons they would reason very well with Ag. Ag would be less impulsive and become not only ideologically peaceful, but also in his fighting style. Any future opponents, from now on, they will be spared. Not because Ag wants to fight them later on, on the contrary to Goku, but because he felt this inner need to be peaceful and a pacifist and to not just fight for have fun but just to fight because he has to in order to protect the world around him. While Kami couldn't really explain the origins of Aang, he helped Aang to re-access his avatar state and Aang could now do so at his own free will. Moreover, Aang was sent to a world that mirrored that one of his own home planets and the Four Nations. These Four Nations were represented by the past avatars and they all showed him how to bend. Of course the bending wasn't on point because we are in here in a dream or memory as memories linked to his own planet, they couldn't be that strong or they would almost be non-existent. But Aang realized that there must be some more people like him. He would be more aware of the name Avatar, but he still couldn't understand what it actually meant. These people were saying also some stuff again about four nations and they transformed them into the Avatar state as well. And they were then rumbling again about how the Avatar is reincarnated, like every time the Avatar dies. That was just too confusing for this boy. But some of these things they would 
stay in his hat. This wouldn't be answers, but at least he would get closer to an answer, probably. Ang would also improve his bending qualities. He could power up his air bending techniques with his own life force or ki force. He could water bend, earth bend, and even fire bend. Fire bending could be more convenient. He could save some key or energy and it wouldn't drain his stamina. Ang would also need to bulk up a little bit because these techniques or fire banding, water banding, all of that, they required very weird moves. And even he did it very instinctively, there were still some moves where he had like to find a good balance on how to do it. And for that, he needed to be more muscular. However, he would still be slender enough to move fast and he could again power himself up with some air bending techniques and then he would be much faster. With these abilities and capacities, and could save a lot of stamina and he would beat Piccolo Jr. easier than Goku did. He may not be able or be at the same power level as Goku, but Ang's advantage would lie in the fact that he could save more ki and stamina. What will happen next? Will someone come for Ang, Or will actually a confused Stradix appear in this world? And that's where we leave it for now.